All right, welcome back. Super Sports Saturday continues. We're live at the Minnesota Motor Company. McDonald's also helping out, of course. Craig, we got some swimmers uh, in this morning to talk about uh, well, this past yeah, week. I'm kind of wondering if they took care of all those McDonald's sandwiches over there. They had to wait for a while, you know. But uh, what was your choice here, Clay? Burrito. Burrito, okay. okay that, that's a good choice. Clay Danielson is a senior with the Otters, who is uh, the senior captain. We have two juniors also, Joe Kitzman and Cal Morrison, are here as, as uh, captains of this team. And Clay, I'm just looking at the schedule here, and you've got uh, two home meets this week. It's your last two home meets. So when you're a senior, you kind of look at that. You probably circle the dates like uh, only two more times to swim in your home pool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. I mean, it comes really fast. I mean, it just you don't think about it, and then it's all already here. And it'll be kind of fun to end it with Alec at home. I guess that's kind of been a big rivalry, I think, ever since you've been competitively swimming. Yeah, it's always been a good team. And we have a, I mean, we have a shot. They have a really strong team this year, but we have a pretty good shot at coming close to them. You guys uh, picked up a, a dual win against uh, Sock Rapids the other night. You've had some good dual performances this year. Has this team exceeded your expectations in your performances in dual meets, or are you kind of right where you thought you would be? Um, I think we're about where we thought we'd be, but I think there's a few times where a lot of these freshmen are stepping up and getting these third places or fourth places that I really didn't expect. Um, Luke Rates in the 50 or was it the 100? I can't remember. He came in and just barely outtouched a guy for third place. I think it was the 100, and Cal took first, and he just came in and barely took third. So that really surprised me. And Connor Hatfield's been doing a lot better. People like that, I mean, they've been stepping up and getting those third places. Now, you and your fellow captains and Daniel Kowalski uh, form the 200 medley relay team. You won that event at the Section True Team meet, I believe, last week, and a good performance there. But how important is it for you guys to get that meet off to a, a good start since that's the, the first event? Um, that's a really important thing for us. I mean, we need to get going, and we need to get off to a good start. It's a lot, a lot of time for me and Cal, it's kind of a hard event to do because we'll have a double in the 200 IM or the, for Cal or the 200 free for me. So a lot of the time it's hard to go all out and dual meets like that. So SOC, we definitely didn't have the best race in that um, relay that we would have liked, but it was okay. Now you guys also uh, swim the uh, 200 freestyle relay together. Is that right? Same team? We either Pretty switch, much? Off, we switch off between the 200 free or the 4x1. Okay. okay. So you four. It yep. just depends on what the other lineup is like for the opposing team as yep. to which one Coach Uvis is going to throw you in, huh? Yep. And a lot of the time what we'll do is – Daniel, he'll almost always do the medley and then the uh, 200 free. But then what sometimes we'll do is we'll do a four on the medley. That's almost always for sure. It's usually a four on the medley. And then a lot of time we'll put Luke, Luke rates on the four by one with us. Because Daniel's really good at a 50, so it's nice to have him in that 200 free relay. Clay, tell us the individual events that you are swimming consistently right now and how you feel you're doing in them. Um, I'm kind of switching off. Um, I'll usually swim the 200 freestyle every every race, and that's or every meet, and that's I'm doing decently well on that. I wanted to really break two minutes before sections, and I got down to a 158, and so that I'm happy with that. And then our most recent meet, I went like a two two flat about, and I kind of shut that down a little bit because I didn't have anybody to push me. And then I'll usually switch off between the fly or the 500. 500, I think I went a 520. Eight at sock seven and so that's that's about where i want to be and it's not really my main event and then the fly i really wanted to break a minute so both fly and the 200 free it was those kind of barriers that i wanted to break before sections and the fly i got down to a 59 at bemidji so are you becoming uh, accustomed to swimming the 500 is that becoming a, one of your i mean you like the event now or is it, it still I've, a... i mean i've swam it in the past i think my Last year I swam at almost every race until like the first, second half of the year, so I kind of get I've gotten used to it and it's something I can do if we need to. But Joe and Cal are usually a little bit faster at it if we need somebody that can go a little bit faster. But if we got somebody who can go with a 5:30, it's nice to have me in there, so I'll have a race too. All right, uh, pass the mic to Joe if you would. And uh, Joe was a double winner with the 100 fly and the 100 backstroke at uh, the meet against uh, Sock Rapids. How do you feel about where you're at in those races right now? Um, I feel pretty good about my fly. It's it's kind of hard with nobody to push me. I think I won the race by like six seconds or something. So I'm pretty happy with my times. And then in the back, it just kind of varies based on how I'm feeling every race. So 
How much do you know about uh, your opponent before you get in the water? Who's going to press you? Do you have a good idea? Have you looked at all the times of the guys that are in a heat to, to know how you uh, stack up? Yeah, I especially before our big meets. Like we have Alec this week and um, Brainerd. I I really look into how fast everyone's gone this year, so I know what kind of race I can be expecting. When you swim different events like that, the different strokes like the fly and, and the backstroke. When you're in practice. Are there some weeks where you need to, you know, work more on one stroke than the other? Is there some weakness in one of your strokes that you try to shore up in certain weeks? Or do you kind of, you know, spend the same amount of time uh, trying to refine your strokes? Um, it's it's really tough because I try to swim as much fly as I can in practice, but it's so tiring. So yeah. I, I end up mostly swimming a lot more backstroke, but, I mean, I try and balance it as much as I can. Coach Uvis made the comment after that win over Sock Rapids that the last two weeks of practice has made such a big difference in the times and the performances of this team. Uh, would you uh, agree that the practice has been really good for you guys uh, since you, you came back from your break? Yeah, uh, he's, he started a new system when we got back from break about how he grades us on each set that we do. And it, I think it's really helped us like try and focus more on doing the little things right that he always talks about. And it just... I think all in all has made us a lot better team. Yeah, you know, sometimes we, I think, <laughs> underestimate how important it is to have a focused practice, especially in a sport like swimming, uh, where you're, you're swimming against the clock, you're not being pushed so much in practice, uh, you know, by, by an opponent like you are in a meet. But is this something that has helped you with your meet preparation, too? Do you find that being able to focus like that in practice makes you even sharper for the meet? Yeah, I feel like even in, like, the warm-ups of meets, um, just focusing on the little things kind of takes my mind off, like, the nerves I have about my race or stuff like that. And then everything just becomes a little more automatic, which is always nice for races, so you don't really have to think too much. Joe, what are the goals that you have individually and for this team as you look down the stretch here and look towards sections? Uh, for our team, I would really love to see us win sections. I mean, we've we won our section the last few years, and we got a new one this year. And I think it's a real possibility. So I would I would really like to see that happen. And uh, as for myself, let's see, I'd really like to break the school record in the 100 fly at state this year and hopefully get top three. I mean, last year I was fourth, and I was like point three off the school record. So I can't say it was disappointing, but it was, I mean, it would have been really nice to get that. Well, I'm sure that kind of spurred you on to this year, too, knowing you were yeah. that close, you know. And uh, <laughs> Well, it'll be fun to see how that finishes. Let's uh, pass the mic to Cal, and Cal was a double winner at uh, Sock Rapids, also winning the 200 IM and the 100 free. You're pretty comfortable in both of those races right now. How's the IM going for you? Uh, it feels pretty good. I'm pretty comfortable in it. I just, you know, as you progress throughout the years, I mean, at some events you like more than others, and I, I really like the IM, but I really like the 100 free now, and I still like the 100 breaststroke, so I guess I've got some decisions coming up for what I want to swim for, say, sections and state. The coaches let you have a lot of input on that? Uh, yeah. I mean, they won't always go over the lineup with us. Sometimes they'll surprise us. But he's really open to, like, if you just want to talk to him and see if there's something you want to swim. Or We're talking about being focused in a, in a meet. I look at those two events, the, the 200 IM and the 100 free. Well, that's a couple of different approaches, isn't it, to a race? I mean, the 100 free, you can just go all out for uh, 100 meters. Right. But the, the, the IM is totally different. Yeah, it's a lot different. Um the aspect of having four different strokes, and there's a lot different. you got to work your turns a whole lot. Um, against Sock Rapids, I didn't have a lot of people pushing me, but that's a good time that you can work on your turns, especially in a race format rather than just working on it in practice. And then um, the 100 free was that same case, but something that I want to work on in that is just really fast turns and getting off those walls, something that you just want to keep working on every time you go to a meet. So when you get to something like sections in state, you're always ready for it. And if you can just take uh, just a fraction of a second off your time, it could make the difference, right? And yeah. Turn. Now, you know, Clay was talking about how you guys, when you swim the 200 medley relay, when you have an event coming up shortly thereafter, uh, you've got to kind of pace yourself or watch it a little bit. How do you deal with that when you know you've got an individual event coming up very quickly after that the 200 medley relay? Uh, it doesn't affect me too much since I usually swim either the freestyle or the breaststroke in the relay. I have a little time. If we have a say a junior varsity and a varsity heat of the 200 free, that's about four and a half, five minutes I get before the 200 individual medley. So uh, I'm not too gassed by the time that event comes up, but 
I don't know. Sometimes I can feel it. How do you feel about the practices the last couple of weeks? Uh, are you uh, feeling stronger and, and a little better about uh, the meets because of the, the way you've been working in practice? I, uh, yeah, I think we've been working pretty hard. I've, this whole week has been kind of hard. We've all been pretty sore. And, yeah, the meet, Coach told us not to worry so much about times, just about how hard we've been working and just keep working hard with just technique and just getting better and faster. How, uh, how much do you look forward to a week like we have coming up here where you're at home a couple of times? And, and how hard is it when you have a Tuesday-Thursday meet situation where you don't get a real intense practice this week? Uh, I really look forward to having a couple of home meets just since you don't have to go out and have late nights and then morning practice on, like, say, Wednesday. But uh, I think it'll be pretty hard just to have, like, say, Alec and then the triangulars against DL and Moorhead, those meets will be um, pretty hard. So they'll be almost like practices in themselves just to get us ready for like how it's going to feel when we go up against pretty good teams and conference and then sections and even state. Cal, what are your goals for the rest of the season for you individually and for your team? I'd really like to improve individually in either the IM or the free or the breaststroke, whichever one I choose. And I'd really like to do better at state this year, get top eight at least and, just see what I can do to surprise myself, I guess. And team-wise, I think that we actually do have a lot of potential, whether that's we may not win our conference. And, I mean, say, like, Tech and Alec, they're pretty deep. But right. say, like, our section this year is not as strong as we think they were. So I think we have a lot of – we can surprise ourselves just going there, and we might be able to win it. So. All right. Well, I should give the mic back to Clay. I'll let the senior have the last word here as we uh, wrap up the swimming conversation. Uh, Clay, the uh, section true team, uh, did you learn a lot about your section at that event since you're in a new, new section? Are there some things that you learned that, that will help you going into the section meet? We did learn a lot. Or for me personally, what I learned is that we have a, our 500 and our 200 are actually both pretty strong. Um, Alex has a, yeah, Alex has a Chris Angus, and he's very fast in the 500, and some guys like that. And people like that, and so it's, I almost have to not as much worry about the five and the two as what I have to worry about the fly, because we don't have that strong of a fly, where Joe was the only one that broke a minute at that race, and I've already gone below a minute, and so I probably would have been able to take second at that race. And the final question, uh, the diving has helped so much in your uh, oh, your meets this year, that has to be a real plus for this team. It's been great, I mean, having Mikey, Reed, and Michael all dive, I mean, Michael's even on his off days, he can usually win the meet. And then Reed and Mikey are right behind him. I mean, it's been amazing a lot of the time to go one, two, three in diving, and that just helps so much with our score. And well, it takes a lot of stress off of all of us. It's going to be fun to see this, uh, the finish to this season. And congratulations, guys, on a great year so far, and keep it up. Thank you. Clay Danielson and Joe Kitzman and Cal Moritzson, captains of the Otters, joining us talking uh, Otter Boys swimming and diving on our Super Sports Saturday.